Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel once again. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for up and coming notifications of new videos. Today I'm going to be talking about spooling a spinning reel for beach fishing. In other words, one that we'd use for catching things like garrick, kingies, cob, drop shotting, and of course our snook that we get here in Natal. To start off with, I have chosen our BG uh, MQ uh, 6000 reel. The reason I've chosen this reel is because of the retrieve it's got. 5.7 is to 1, it's also very light and it will do the job perfectly for the species that I'm going to be talking about. In other words, kingfish and uh, of course cob um, and garrick. Because kingfish and garrick like a fast moving lure, the 5.7 is ideal. So that's the reason I chose the BG MQ today. I'm going to spool it up with 20 pound braid and as you know braid's a lot thinner um, it allows you to throw a lot further it's also more direct when you get a hook set and you can pull the fish a lot faster and a lot harder okay so what I've got here my 6000 20 pound J braid 8 weave and the 8 weave is a lot rounder so it'll throw a lot further, it goes through the eyes a lot quicker. And of course I've got some backing, uh, which is my trophy braid. Okay, now that I've chosen the braid that I'm going to be using as my top shot, it's critically important that when spooling um, your reel, to make sure of three things. First thing is to make sure that you put it on extremely tightly so that the braid doesn't cut into itself. Especially when targeting GTs um, that are fast moving and Garrick to a certain extent. Secondly, when spooling braid on, make sure you do not underfill the reel. If you underfill your grinder with braid, you are impeding the distance that you can get. In other words, you're not going to be able to throw as far. Because the arbor is a lot smaller. Um, so just make sure that you fill it correctly. Do not overfill it. Thirdly, if you overfill it, you will get wind knots or... Yeah, you don't want to get wind knots, basically. In other words, the reel's too, too full. The bottom braid comes off faster than the top braid when it's been pulled off and you get wind knots. So you don't want to overfill it, you don't want to underfill it. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. Um, obviously, if you come to the Kingfisher, we know exactly how much backing to go on. But at home, if you don't, it's a long process. To make it a lot quicker for us, for filming purposes, I've just got another spool here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to spool on my 20 pound J braid onto the reel and then I'm going to use my trophy braid as the backing. I'm going to show you how to tie the figure of eight on as well as the PR and FG knot. Here we go. Okay. So I've taken my spare spool, I'm going to take my 20 pound J braid, I'm going to go to my machine here and fill it. So I've got my 6000 spool here, I'm just going to attach it to my machine quickly. If for some reason you do not have a little rubber guard on the inside of your spool. Um, the rubber is there basically to hold or to bind the figure of eight knot together. So if you do get a big fish, the braid on the inside doesn't spin around. That little guard there, the rubber guard, actually protects it. If you do not have one, once you've tied your figure of eight, just use a bit of insulation tape wrap around once or twice and that will stop or prevent your braid from turning on the inside of your actual um, spool there. To tie the figure of eight knot around your spool, what we're going to do is we're going to take the tag end and wrap it around the spool and we do 
a granny knot, we take the tag in again, we do a granny knot, we then go around the spool for a second time, and that just bites in a lot better as far as the knot goes. Then we tie our figure of eight. And how we do it, we just put our finger there and we wrap it around once, twice, three times, take it off, and go through the center. Grab the tag end, and you'll see it should pull out. There's the figure of eight forming. We then slide it down, and you can see how it's actually biting into the actual, and I'm gonna pull it around for you guys. You can see how it's bitten into that actual rubber over there. Now that rubber will prevent the knot from turning. Okay, cut off the tag end and let's get ready to fire. So I'll put my glasses on. And remember to put it on under pressure. Very important. Here we go. Okay, so there we come to the end. Now what I'm going to do is take my, my backing braid and tie a FG or a PR knot. I'm just going to do a PR knot. You can do a figure of eight if you don't have a PR knot or you don't know how to do the FG. If you're going to tie a figure of eight to figure of eight, there's a link in the top right hand side corner. Um, it'll show you how to do it slowly. Okay, to tie a PR, all we do is take our backing through and around. There we go. So all we're going to do is a PR knot. Okay, here we go guys. Okie dokie. There we go. One half inch on the left. Just undo everything here quickly. Just test your PR on the first half inch. And then all we're going to do is do another five or six. Um, alternating half inches. One, left hand side, two, right hand side, three, left hand side, four, right hand side, five, and then go over again. Cut it off nice and neatly. You can do a reverse risotto, but on this, this light little uh, braid that we're using, you don't need to do it. There we go, okay. And, we continue to fill up the backing now onto the, the reel. And it'll take another about 150 meters. So here we go. Okay, there we go. Like I said, you don't want to underfill the reel and you don't want to overfill it. As long as it stays level, you're good to go. Okay. Now all we're gonna do is reverse it under pressure onto our spool. Let's grab it quickly. And once again, 
to fill our reel up we're going to do a figure of eight knot around the spool we're going to go around once and we do overhand granny knot once twice that just bites into the spool nicely around and then again like i said don't forget the link in the top right hand side corner figure of eight once twice three times around take it off and back through figure of eight slide it all the way down to where we're going you can see it's bitten in quite nicely there cut off the tag end and you can leave quite a bit of tag end it doesn't make a difference it'll just yeah there's no reason why you should cut it too closely um, on your back of your spool and here we go now all we're going to do is just fill the reel up guys remember to put it under a lot of tension when you are actually putting it on for the second time um, so it doesn't cut into itself when you're fighting a big fish okay so my second knot is my second knot my knot is now coming up there, there's my PR knot over there make sure that you put it as close to the bottom of the reel as possible so it doesn't hook when your line is coming off so try and keep it as far to the bottom as possible guys it's also just a little trick so here we go and we just put the knot right against it there we go you can see it coming up there as close to the bottom as possible put a bit of braid over the top of it and carry on going okay there we go perfectly flush not overfilled not underfilled that's what it should look like okay now i'm going to do a pr onto my leader that i'm going to use for this one where i'm fishing for gt's come garrick i'm going to be using 40 pound fc fluorocarbon obviously fluorocarbon invisible in water high abrasion um, especially for the scoots on the kingy um, and of course 40 pound FC stays nice and straight there we go tie the PR we take the braid through and around the o-rings we then wrap the braid around one two three four six seven eight nine ten times three times around your wrist maybe four times grab your FC fluorocarbon and all we're going to do is wrap it around here we go remember when tying a PR that you don't want to tie it too long on a casting lure so about that length is more than enough okay so we take our tag end of our braid we do a half inch around it pull it to where we want it to sit just behind the PR knot one half inch now all I'm going to do is pull tight to make sure that it actually seats properly and you can see it does I'm then going to go the opposite side all around there we go pulling tight and again opposite way pulling tight I'm going to do this six times on to the third one now and of course the sixth time We then take our fluorocarbon and cut it as closely as we can. There we go. Cut off our tag end. And depending on what length we want it to be, normally about a meter and a half in length. 
for our plugin. Let's quickly do this. So there is our PR knot. Small, strong, fluorocarbon wrapped around it. Okay, so there is our BGMQ6000 fold with braid, fluorocarbon leader on it, ready to go spinning for GTs and Garrick. Best suited rod for this particular fishing that I want to do, in other words the Garrick, the GTs, would be our BG 11 foot 6 spinning rod. It's our power spin. It's rated 65 to 130 grams, making it ideal for throwing those big Garrick plugs uh, for catching, like I said, GTs. Go into any leading tackle store nationwide and our Kingfisher branches. There we go, guys. Go out there and enjoy.